AM the mood at Namgongo Catholic Shrine was already charged for the Martyrs Day celebrations. Fort Porto Catholic Diocese Choir was at hand to brighten the day. One by one, the invited guests sauntered in. At exactly half past 9 a.m., donned in red and white cassocks, a procession of archbishops and bishops commenced. Then the mass started at exactly 10 a.m. The Speaker of Parliament, Aneta Nita Among, Prime Minister Robin Anabanja, Chief Justice Owen Alfonso Dolo, were among the key government officials who couldn't skip this event. Also present here were former Vice President Edward Chuanuka Sekandi, Leader of Opposition in Parliament, Matthias Impuga, Ministers, Members of Parliament and Political Party Leaders. The main celebrant was the Bishop of Fort Porto Catholic Diocese, Right Reverend Robert Muhira Akiki. We praise and thank the Lord for his goodness to us all. We praise the Lord for the gift of these martyrs, the heroes of our faith. As Christians today who have been baptized, what can we learn from these martyrs we are celebrating today? What lessons can we draw for ourselves, for our own lives. Bishop Muhirwa condemned witchcraft. It is a pity today some Christians still go to witch doctors and use witchcraft. You find them at mass today or on Sunday, and the course of the weekdays, when they have problems of sickness or looking for wealth and riches, they go to witch doctors. Let us not be double dealers in our faith. Let us learn from the martyrs, turn away from witchcraft totally. Let us adore the one true Lord and God and love him above all. The bishop also spoke to the politicians. St. Joseph Balikudembe is known as a patron of politicians. We have many lessons to learn from him, outstanding the virtue of justice and pleading to save life. The question is, how do we respect human life? Are we involved in cases of murder? What of those who take the lives of the unborn through abortion? How are we standing for justice for the oppressed in any way? The church is also worried about the misuse of drugs and alcohol, especially among the youth. Uganda is the leading country in the use of alcohol in East Africa. It's number one. The seventh in Africa. Then that a shame. As a consequence, we have many problems which include domestic violence, chronic poverty, and other related health problems, some of which are mental. We just need to go to Butabek Hospital and you'll see what is happening there. These are also, and this is seen among the youth. The offertory moment was lit up by the Prime Minister, Speaker and Chief Justice. <laughs> Cultural leaders were led by the Omukam of Toro, Oyanyimba Kabamba Iguru Rukidi III, His Excellency President Yerika Gutam Seven, was represented by the Prime Minister of Uganda, Right Honorable Robin Anabanja Musafiri. Just like it has been the norm during previous Matters Day celebrations, pilgrims came from as far as Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda and beyond. Robert Onyango, UBC News, Namugongo.